Hello, good day. I'm back once again with another video. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you something that's really cool, then take it away from you a little bit, and then kind of tell you how we can potentially leverage it. Essentially what I'm talking about today is dynamic proposals, or really proposals in general. Now you can take this as, I don't know how to word it really, it's fantastic, but also really cumbersome. Now it really depends on the level of technicality you have within the business, how much time you want to put into this. But my job today is just to show you that it's possible and how we use it. So I try and typically avoid showing you anything in my live production environment because typically it's a bit of a nightmare for me to sensitize it all. However, in this scenario, we spent quite a bit of time tailoring this because it really benefits us. So I thought I would go ahead and show you how we do it. So let's get straight into it today. So we're talking about proposals, okay? Now, any good sales team really will have some sort of proposal document, and it just kind of depends where you're at in your business. You may only be taking on a new customer every six months or every three months, and you might just have a Word document, it's very typical, right? You will slightly tailor it, add some text into it, and away you go. Um, slightly different from my line of work, you know, we send out proposals daily pretty much to be honest um, And we need to be able to churn them out really quickly But also tailor them quickly and make them personalized So we don't just want to send the same piece of paper out to everyone Even though for the most part I would say 95% of it is always the same But I will shut up talking and I will just go ahead and explain So this is our production environment and this is what we work out of every single day. And what I'm just going to do is make a new opportunity. And what I have is some fake information down here. So we have the email address is Daryl. I'm going to try and pronounce that. Frenecki, maybe. Uh, Daryl Frenecki. Uh, he's reached out to us, if I could even use a keyboard, um, for some consultation, apparently. He's from uh, this company name here. And that is all I'm going to fill out for the time being. I'm just going to put he is in the United Kingdom and he can be in Trafford. Okay, cool. And I'm not going to go through our full proposal in, but essentially um, this customer wants to know more about our onboarding services. Now, depending on when or where you get an opportunity, you may or may fill some of this information out. I'm just going to say at the minute we don't have anything. I'm just going to say my next date needs to be tomorrow and submit. Now, this next bit is what I'm kind of showcasing. So this next bit is our, how we send our proposals out to our customers. So the first thing that we do is we have this button up here called Design Offering. Now, all this is really doing is applying a bunch of custom fields to the ticket. And I'll demonstrate that. So what do they want an offering for? Is it Halo PSA or ITSM? That is because we as a business offer both Halo PSA onboarding and consultation and Halo ITSM onboarding and consultation. Now we do other services, but at the minute my sales team or me would never quote or propose anything out. It would be me on a very one-to-one -one basis. If you're an MSP, this could be new hardware. This could be new managed service provision. This could be a project. Um, an installation, a decommission, whatever you wanted. And you could basically start having these fields populate. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So I'm just going to say they want a offering for our Halo PSA offering. And the next thing it asks me is what currency is that going to be in? So we obviously operate internationally. Um, so we have GBP, USD, CAD, and Euro. I'm just going to put today is GBP. Then we have two cost things. So we're very transparent with our prices. Our website is currently offline, but we basically sell two packages, a 15 or a 25 hour package. And those packages are fixed cost. It's either 3150 for 15 hours, or it's 4950 for 25 hours. And that's the same across both of our packages, basically. Um, depending on the currency, it will obviously show this accelerate cost in the different currency. This is because we've hard coded this in. So I'm just going to say GBP is 3150. Um, we then have different consultancy rates. Now, currently, these are going to be static. Um, but again, if I was to select USD, the consultancy rate would then show in um, dollars as opposed to GBP. So I'm just going to put 3150. That means the consultancy rate is this. This means our virtual admin rate is this. 
And how many hours is that? Well, because I've selected 3150, that automatically determines this is going to be a 15 hour package. If I made this the 4950, it would show 25 hours. Now, what's the point of this, you might say? Well, it means if anyone in the team starts doing proposals, um, they select the first thing and everything else is uniformed. Um, you'll then see here we have different um, sign off text and onboarding text. Now, you'll notice in here that it says the integration of your organization into Halo PSA. If I was to select ITSM, it would say integration of your organization into Halo ITSM. Now, we could just have it so that singular word changes, but I think our verbiage over time is going to change. Um, and again, this is currently geared towards onboardings. And again, as we iterate, as we grow, there's going to be more different texts in here, different things we can select, and again, making these dynamic proposals. So I'm just going to select the only options we have and click Save. All that does is that basically writes them to this offering details page. Now, it will add some other bits and pieces in some other tabs. I won't go into the, the logistics of why that is, but we have different things in different places. But it essentially writes all that data to the ticket. What that allows us to then do is click this button here, which is create offering. And basically what that's doing is that is creating a PDF document on the ticket using the custom fields from the ticket. And I will explain how this works. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. Now the only annoying thing with this at the minute is that um, it makes the document as ticket report because that's what it is. So what I currently do is I just come in here and rename this to be proposal. This is because I will typically email this out to the customer and I'll click save. And what I end up with is a proposal.pdf. And you'll see here that it pulls in this month because we are in October. You will see it says Halo because these are Halo project proposals. And you'll see it's presented to Daryl. That is the customer's name that I made at the start of this proposal. So we're pulling information from the ticket. Then when we go down and look at our pricing structure, you will see that we selected 3150 and you will see that we selected 250 and 200 pounds. Again, when we was making that proposal, we selected these fields. Now, a lot of this information is rigid. So if we do accelerate, you know, the verbiage remains the same and um, the same for consultation and virtual admin. But what's really important for us is we can quickly get a proposal out in the preferred currency with the preferred um, rates and preferred um, values, if you will, on here. And again, everything else is uniformed. You saw me select different verbiage. So you remember it says integration of Halo PSA. So it adds this information in here. And again, this is all based around onboarding currently because this is the main, main thing that we kind of send proposals for. And again, down here, a little bit of information about me and Robbie. So who we are, what we do, why the company is formed, what we're aiming to do. And essentially, this is what we send out. Now, if the customer goes, actually, Connor, um, we want you to, you know, give us your 25 hour package. What we have to do is click design offering again, change this down here, change the fields that are required and click save. Create the offering, which will then create another document with those fields on it. Click save. And again, we have then another attachment. I won't rename this, I'll just open it. But again, you'll now see it's updated the 4950 price in here. Um, and essentially that is that. Um, this is our onboarding timeline. This is our proposal document. So I think this is really nice. Now, what's the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is to show you that it can be done and you can make what I like to call dynamic proposals. And I wanna show you a little bit how we've kind of achieved it. So the first thing is, is this design offering button. What is that actually doing? Well, this is super simple. As I mentioned, this is just adding those custom fields to the ticket. So if I go to tickets in action and I do design offering, maybe second page, here we go, design offering. What is that doing? Well, that has no system use. It is literally just updating a bunch of custom fields we've made. So we can add all those custom fields to the ticket. Then you'll say, well, what is the create offering button doing? Well, the create offering button also has no system use, but if you go to the default page, he says, he says, 
details page. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. Here we go. You can have this report settings and basically you can attach a ticket PDF report to that ticket. And what we have is a singular button. So this create offering makes the Renada Halo PSA offering. Um, it makes that ticket PDF report. Uh, this is just a placeholder. Don't worry about that. Um, and essentially that's that. So how do we click all these pieces together? Well, we know we have all these custom fields on the ticket. We know we have a uh, Halo PSA offering PDF being created upon the action button. But how does it get the custom fields on the ticket onto this PDF document? And what even is this PDF document? Where is it even stored? Well, let's talk about that a little bit, shall we? So if we go to documents in the left hand side, you will see we're now functioning within the tickets PDF template. So we're not operating under documents for quotations or invoices. This is purely for tickets. And if we click on that and we go to pages and I generate this PDF, just open up this you will see that it takes the information from the last one we created which again has all this information here so what does it look like on the actual template well I'm not going to get too much in the weeds of how this works but essentially what we've done is we've written the HTML and essentially what we're pulling in if you can see this I know it's rather small is the variables so we say on the front page, the supporting text is halo dollar consultation type. We pull in the current date. We pull in certain company logos, um, the username that is the person on the ticket, assigned to is the person or the agent that made the ticket. And it's simple as we're making these document templates and pulling in the variables. So when I look at pricing, what we're saying is, let me just scroll past all the CSS. What we're saying is here, dollar CF accelerate hours package. So my advice, if you're wanting to start down this road, um, is if you don't have the skills in house to do the HTML, I would definitely look at outsourcing that. You know, you can get stuff on Fiverr. A lot of the Halo onboarding consultants do it. We offer it as a service, not explicitly, unfortunately. We offer it as part of a package, but we can do it um, purely because these things often have scope creep and it's really hard to price these, if I'm being honest. And um, that's why it's good to have it all mapped out beforehand. So I would definitely go and sit in something like Canva or Photoshop, build out how you want your proposals to look, and then define on those proposals what can be dynamic. And then you can start building these out inside of Halo. Again, I told you I would show you something quite cool and take it away again. The reason I take it away again is because this bit is the complicated bit. This is the bit that takes a lot of time, um, but it can be done. And that's all I'm going to show you today. So to reiterate or to iterate one more time, you can make custom proposals inside of Halo PSA. And um, these can be leveraged in many ways. This is just an example of how we use it. We design our offering, which is add custom fields to a ticket. We then create a PDF document using the variables on the ticket to make what I call a dynamic proposal. And then we send that to our customer on initial conversation and away we go. And that is it. I'm going to leave that with you today as some food for thought, if nothing else. I've been Connor. Have a lovely day. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye.